My dear Youth for Christ International family, today I want to speak about a principle that is taught to us so clearly in the 12th chapter of 1 Corinthians. You and I are members of one body, and I am being reminded of that more and more these days as I see this global pandemic wreaking havoc around our world. In some of the favored countries, like the United States, and just a little ways behind it, Canada, we're seeing daylight. We're seeing a breakthrough. We're actually seeing life return to normal in many ways. At least we're well on the way. But in so many parts of our world, we are deeply hurting. And here in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it says in verse 27, Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. And he goes on to tell us that all the parts are important and valuable. God has combined the members of the body and has given greater honor to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body. And he says in verse 26, If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. We are feeling it today. Brothers and sisters in India, in Pakistan, in Brazil, in parts of Africa, where you are seeing and experiencing the devastating impact of this COVID pandemic, I want you to know and hear and understand today that we are all one body, that what you are feeling, we feel, that we hurt with you. You are our brothers and sisters. I was talking to Sham yesterday, our national director in India. We have lost staff and volunteers. We have lost donors. We have lost pastors. And our members of the body in India are suffering deeply right now. That goes for many countries. And we feel it. And we hurt with you. I know that there are probably everyone watching this video today has been affected in some way by COVID. Maybe your church got shut down for a while. Maybe a business failed. Maybe you lost someone close to you. Brothers and sisters, we're hurting with you. And I want to remind you today that we serve a powerful God and that we pray to Him. And that that is one of the best things, the most important things we can be doing now for our brothers and sisters. We need to pray that supplies will get there, that they will be provided. We need to pray for grace and comfort for our families who are mourning. We need to pray for those who have just lost hope. And we need to pray that in our world's dire needs and hurt, that they will turn to Jesus. We need to pray for our staff and our volunteers that they will find creative ways to reach out to our youth and to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them in whatever ways are available. And when they can't, when they've exhausted all options, that they're still okay, that they are praying. We need to encourage our brothers and sisters and we need to stand in the gap with them. If you can, reach out to one of our hurting nations. Give them a call. Give them a WhatsApp message. Do something to help them to feel that love. We all need to be doing that today. By God's grace, we will get through this. Somehow, we need to also be praying that our world will do that order that we were taught from Sunday school. Jesus first, others next, ourselves last. Somehow, 
our world seems to forget about Jesus and do me first, me second, others third, fourth, or fifth, and Jesus last. Let's model the lifestyle, the one body, the calling, the all that Jesus taught us so that Jesus can see his prayer answered. Father, that they might be one, that the world might believe, and so that we can all demonstrate to this broken world, as Jesus taught us, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, because you have love one for another. Please give one of our Youth for Christ, virtual family around the world, a hug today, over Zoom, over WhatsApp, in whatever way you can. God bless, and may he give you the grace to follow him and to exalt his name and to reach lost young people in our day. Blessings. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that we can come to you as the God of all comfort. And it is our prayer today that you would comfort and encourage and support our brothers and sisters in India, in Bangladesh, in Pakistan, in Nepal, and Lord, in so many other places, in Brazil, in much of Latin America that is so hurting, and in other hurting corners of our globe. Father, may we be there for each other in whatever way we can. And we ask, Father, that you would provide, that you would heal, that you would show yourself in powerful ways, and that through this pandemic, many, many lost young people would come to know Jesus as Savior and Lord. We pray together in his precious name. Amen. God bless.